beautiful segment on child banter on today's episode we'll be learning how to prepare something special which i have no idea what we're going to be preparing today and of course all you have to do is join me inside and let's go learn something new but before that my name is nan abena join me <laughs> hi, hi. good to see you how are you doing Very Thank you. Wow, I love this setting. Thank you. This is beautiful. Thank you and so much. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice costume. Thank you. <laughs> All right, no, um, I know a lot of people will be wondering who is um, Cousin Bay, but before mm -hmm. that, let's talk about you a bit. Your okay. name and probably tell us something about you. Okay, so. Um, my name is Mfoni So. Okay. Okay, so I am um, the CEO of Cousin Bay. Mm -hmm. So Cuisine Bay is actually created for uh, busy professionals who do not really have time to take care of their cuisine preparation. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a whole lot of meals out there, yes. but of course, before you have a beautiful meal, before you have a mm -hmm. sumptuous meal, it has to be that there has to be a lot of preparation okay. put in place okay. to make sure it comes out really nice like what we're having today okay. it had to we had to do a lot of preparation all right now before you tell you let it cut out the cut out of the bag i love this whole interior going on Thank right you. now it's so cozy now first time i actually uh, i got to know i thought it was more like a restaurant with a kitchen mm -hmm. but looking at it the settings is just amazing what was mm -hmm. the whole idea do you want to be different from everybody or something? Yeah, it's supposed to be a different thing. Okay. It is a different idea mm -hmm. where you come in, place your order for food stuff that you mm -hmm. need for your meals, and then we get to prepare it. You get home, and in 20 minutes, your meal is set. Okay, mm -hmm. now I can see we have a whole lot of ingredients here. Yeah. And we're going to go on a break, <laughs> and when we come back, Resistance Fund is actually going to tell us what we are going to be preparing for today. Sure. Don't go anywhere. base kitchen and of course I still have a fun store right here mm -hmm. with me and I know a lot of us are wondering yeah. what are we preparing today yeah. or what are you teaching us okay I'm going to take you through how to make Chinese fried rice mm, yummy yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay um, inspiration what was the whole idea why this dish okay um, let's say it's a rare dish around here mm -hmm. and um, of course in the spirit of um, the season which we're getting close to the valentine Love it. <laughs> so you're going to learn that so you can actually teach you can actually make that for your spouse for your okay. baby okay of course children should be shown love i'm loving this already <laughs> okay now what do we have how do we achieve this what do we need okay so what we need here is um carrots mm -hmm. um string beans okay on onions uh, we need black pepper we need eggs we need um chopped chicken basmati rice mm -hmm. for boiled dark soy sauce uh oyster sauce sesame oil and then your prawns okay now for a lot of people who would know some people end up saying i don't like basmati rice i'm not really a fan of it can i use that rice Local no you rice? cannot that's that's what for the texture you're going to okay. achieve okay. you really need to use that rice all right so let's start <laughs> so. okay 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 so you set your um pan on fire mm -hmm. and then first thing you're going to add will be sesame oil uh, okay um can you aside this oil is there any other kind of oil you could use too oh uh, you can use a little bit of um ground oil as okay. a base okay and then but this is the major mm -hmm. so it creates the aromatics the aromatics that are needed for this is mm -hmm. the ginger the onions and then the system oil. Okay, 
All right. Yes, so we have that. And um, next, you're going to add your your chicken. Mm -hmm. It's already um, spread. So you add that. And when you're making any Chinese meals, you need two spatulas. So you you can get okay. everything okay. in at once, yeah. So it doesn't go soggy, oh. yeah. And then you add your garlic. your garlic, mm. okay. So and then you turn. Yeah. So has cooking actually been something you've always wanted to do? Yes, it has. Okay. And how long have you been doing this? Um, it's, it's actually been my hobby. Oh, yeah. Hobby and business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think I loved what I loved cooking, and mm -hmm. then I decided to. So we're adding the rice now. Okay. I love cooking, so uh, when this came up, when I came up with the idea for the ready to cook, mm -hmm. um, people were like, "Okay, so you've done all of this, so why don't you go ahead and then." Um, don't forget to cook on low heat. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, so people are like, why don't you um, just make it for us, put it together for us at once instead of getting home yeah. to yeah. to do it. Okay. So you keep turning. Can you see the texture? Yes, I can. Yeah, you keep turning. And then you skip for a while. And then you add this. And this. Now, wait, I know a lot of people will be wondering right now, like, for instance, coming to the city of you, have got lots of caterers, a yeah. lot of people who are into cooking and everything. Mm -hmm. Have there been any challenges, or, or, like one way or the other? Oh, well. Knowing the competition is like, it's a whole lot here. Oh is well. This is the new trend. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm doing a la carte and a lot of um, a lot of let's say a lot of um caterers. I'm not mm. a caterer. I'm a chef. Okay. So a lot of caterers do a wholesome cooking, mm. while I do healthy and um, uh, instant cooking. Okay. Yeah, that's what's called a la carte. Okay. So I do mostly a la carte and then. You know, people prefer the freshly made meals because they're healthier. Mm -hmm. You don't get your vegetables going soggy mm -hmm. and all dead and all that. Yeah. Now, speaking about vegetables, I know a lot of kids right now watching will be like, oh, I'd love to try it. They love, love how colorful it is. Now, we still have kids who are not really the veggies, veggies, veggies kind of person. I grew up not loving vegetables. Yeah. So, how do, we, how do we actually achieve that with them too? Oh, well, I think... Um, with the help of the other ingredients, the okay. chicken, uh -huh. the eggs, and then you can also reduce the um, also, I mean, okay. the vegetables and added the and increase the protein. That will okay. invite okay. them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, what I basically did, I just added, you know, three ingredients mm -hmm. or four. Let's say four. Okay. So I did the sesame. Remember? Yes. And then I added the garlic, and then I added the rice, rice and then the vegetables. Okay, so that's now, it. Now, um, I would love to add this. Leave some it to us, simmer. Like, some of us would like to try this. Okay? Mm -hmm. As low as how much can I budget? Okay, so. so <laughs> Look, we know the economy is a bit off <laughs> and everything. The economy yeah. is a bit off. So, yes. as low as how much, like, if you're supposed to? Um, As low as. Any Chinese cuisine, okay. all right, um, is nothing less than four thousand naira. Oh, just four thousand. Just okay. four thousand. Wow. Mm -hmm. Four thousand. You can actually achieve this. Yes. yes. So what's the excuse? <laughs> this Valentine's <laughs> season. <laughs> yes, and and mm. of course, it's a season for love. It's a mm. season to try new things out. Wow. Love becomes very boring when you maintain the old, when you maintain mm. what you've always known. No. So I think variety spices up the whole thing. True. How about that? I can't wait to even taste it. <laughs> so with just 4,000 naira, you can actually achieve this. So yeah. there's no excuse saying, oh, I can't really prepare anything for uh, my loved ones or maybe your visitors. So just this alone. So okay. what else? 
So we're adding um, the black pepper okay. and the egg. Mm -hmm. Black pepper. And then we skin it in. Don't forget that your your rice mustn't go dry. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what did we just add? We just added um oyster sauce, oyster sauce. and we're going to be adding black dark soy sauce now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can actually get this in the markets, right? Sure. Oh, and we have we have um it's actually a spice cabana here. Oh. We have a whole lot of stuffs for sale right here. So we have a lot of spices and herbs mm -hmm. that we sell. Yeah. So you can purchase from us in case you do not find it in town. Okay, now. Before I walked in, I talked about your kitchen. I love it. Uh, I think I'm going to steal a little bit though. But um, my question is, kitchen is by, what's the whole idea? What inspired this, this design, this interior design? Okay, I, want, I always want people around me to feel at home. Mm -hmm. And um, so I felt if I made it look like a shop, shop, shop thing, mm -hmm. it would make people feel like in a hurry to leave the place immediately. Mm -hmm. So I felt to infuse um, more of the homely uh, mm -hmm. stuff like it looks like your kitchen yeah choice right? of color also. the choice of color i love white it's mm. pressed in it just makes everywhere look neat yeah so and of course it will encourage my my uh, my on. clients to keep That's coming <laughs> keep coming <laughs> keep coming so yeah um, of course so while you're waiting to get your spices, mm. to get your food, your fresh foods already prepped mm. in there. And then, of course, you feel relaxed. You can actually even ask for a coffee. Oh, is it free? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's for a fee, but <laughs> not so pricey. And by the way, we have Starbucks coffee here. Okay. Yeah, so of course, I'm going to give, give you a try before you leave. Don't that my job right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to increase the heat a bit. Mm -hmm. um, Let me guess, it was the oyster that actually gave it this color. Yeah, okay. the, the, the dark soy sauce the dark, the dark soy. as well, yes, did. Mm -hmm. The oyster is not even as strong as the dark soy sauce. Okay. By the way, we have light soy sauce, mm -hmm. we have dark soy sauce. Both of them can actually Achieve. do this, but then if you're using the dark, the light soy sauce, you have to watch it mm -hmm. because it's a little bit saltier than. Okay. 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 So we are almost done. We are almost done. Okay, yep, yep, yep. And that's it. You add your spring onions okay. as the last thing. So that's the last thing you add? Yes, that's and the last thing. You adding it? Is this add that? Too? Yeah, that's going to be for the. Oh, um, okay. You don't necessarily need to mix it, right? You mean the onions? No. No, 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 you don't have to mix that. Okay. That's just um, for your food platting. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So this is our Chinese fried rice. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our Chinese fried rice, and you can try it at home with as low as four thousand naira can achieve mm -hmm. this. So you have no excuse or anything. Now, um, can you can you be eating like? Okay, I know people be like, oh, this is so beautiful. Maybe we could do it a morning dish. You know how uh, this part of Africa. Yeah. We eat heavy in the morning, so this is okay to prepare in the morning for, uh, yes. for take out for the kids. You when can going. eat it at any time, in mm -hmm. fact, because the rice is very light. Okay, now for pregnant women, let's get a bit concerned about them. Um, is there anything you have to reduce for them? 
Oh well, maybe for for the the spices. Okay. There are people that get irritated mm. with the the whole garlic thing, mm -hmm. the whole onion thing. So you you can um, just you know make it really light. Okay. But without garlic, you won't really have that effect. Okay. It would just feel like any other rice. Oh. Alright. So ladies and gentlemen, Chinese fried rice. We're going on a break and when we come back, we let you know how it tastes. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And before we went to the break, she taught us, or should I say, she's still teaching us how to prepare Chinese fried rice. Yeah. And it's rocky. And I really want to try it. So <laughs> let's go straight to that. <laughs> okay, so um, of course, presentation is everything when you're oh. serving food. Mm -hmm. So I got a piece of lettuce okay. leaf as um, a basement for it. So I'm going to have to scoop my rice and just keep tipping it mm. just keep tipping it so it's going up if you can see it's tipping up tipping up so that goes mm. that goes I love the whole colors thing going on yeah right Colorful. Thank you. Okay, so we have that and that and that. Okay. So at least for the babies you were so concerned about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if they see a lot of this chewable. This is really trickish. Just put a lot of it to cover it with the, um, yeah, the, the, the rice outside. Yes. <laughs> so this can actually mm. lure them into taking a lot. Of your meal, yeah, and then you go ahead to um, to get your okay. Okay. All right. So. I'll be placing that. 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 Okay. This is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think I'm eating it. Like, I just want to leave it, frame it, and put it together. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Oh, this is you. already looking nice. Mm -hmm. And. I think probably I should try it and tell Of everyone. course you will have okay. to. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get you. Okay, so we are actually going to be trying our Chinese fried rice and we get to tell you what we think about it. So, sweet. <laughs> okay, I love this one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. That's had to go biodegradable. Oh, I can see. Mm -hmm. Everything wooden, so Asian. Uh -huh. You know they are, they are more of the air. Um, yes, yes, yes. Really? That's the idea. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This mm -hmm. is lovely. Thank you. The vegetable is very crunchy. Thank you. And everything about it the meat and all that and it has some chewing <laughs> seriously um <laughs> this is beautiful thank you beautiful delicious i love the whole spices thing it wasn't too salty nothing like everything is just balanced Land. i think even diabetic or maybe patient or maybe sick, yes yeah. and by the way you know sesame oil mm. is really sesame is good for heart issues okay. it, it lowers mm. blood temperatures mm. and and all of that okay. it reduces all of that okay. 
So it's very healthy. There's it no is. there's no seasoning okay. added to this food from start to finish. Wow. So we're, we're cooking without Maggie that people are running away from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because with the help of the the dark soy sauce, mm. the oyster sauce, which are all gotten from natural ingredients. Yeah. Yes, it's the same oil, and of course. So even when it's you are allergic healthy. to something, you can still try this because yeah, sure. healthy and all that. Sure you can. All right, I guess that is it today on Chow Banter. Thank you so much, it's been an amazing time with you. Here. Thank you so much for this dish. You're so, you know what it is. 14 February is no excuse, so for your loved ones, so enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so please try this at home mm -hmm. and let us know what you think. Just go on our social media. Yeah, please. let's know what you think. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> She's going to be ending the show for us. Don't worry. So just go on our social media page and then let us know what you think on the Lifestyle Gallery. Try this at home. If you know you tried it, let us know what you think about this dish. Are you going to end the show with me? Yeah. All right. So sign off. Okay. So from Kizen Bay. Um, this is saying thank you very much okay. for staying with us on the show. Yes. <laughs> I hope I come back. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much once again. Next to remains now, Abina. Been an amazing time with you. Thank you so much once again. Bye bye. <laughs>